You may have heard of the baby eagle, and everyone knows the desert eagle, but have you ever heard of the lone eagle? This is an interesting piece of what is now firearms history, since they don't make these anymore. So let's take a look at what we've got. This particular example is chambered in 308 Winchester, making it the most powerful pistol I own. And the caliber can be changed by swapping out the barrel assembly, but those are pretty hard to get a hold of. The mechanism here is pretty interesting. It is a cannon style breech that is loaded a single shot at a time. And then after it's closed, the hammer still has to be cocked with this external lever here. It is now ready to fire, and we can see a little bit of red down there to indicate this. The trigger has a tiny little bit of creep, and then a firm snap. And the breech can be rotated to spit the expended casing out. And boy, is it enthusiastic. Before Magnum Research picked up this design, it was sold as the SSP-91, and the design goes back even farther than that to the mid-80s. There was also a different variation of this design, sold as the competitor, that had a fair few differences, the most significant of which was incorporating the charging mechanism into the rotating breech, so there's no separate lever. Let's get a comparison here between the Baby Eagle, chambered in 9x19, the Desert Eagle, chambered in 50 Action Express, and the Lone Eagle, chambered in what is traditionally a rifle cartridge, 308 Winchester. For a pistol that is an awfully big boy. But how does it shoot? Well, I guess we'd better take it out to the woods and find out. Yeah, it shouldn't be surprising that this thing is a bit of a handful, but it sure is fun. At some point I would like to get a proper pistol scope on here and do some longer distance shooting, but even just with the red dot, it is a blast literally just plinking around with it. As you can see, this particular one has a muzzle brake and a complicated looking one at that, but it seems to do a pretty good job because the actual recoil impulse is not real sharp and painful, as you would expect from a rifle cartridge and a pistol. There are a handful of existing YouTube videos about these things, but I don't think I've seen one for a later model like this that has the big muzzle brake and the 14-inch barrel. And we took all that fun high-speed video, so I figured we'd make this a little bit of a show and tell. Thanks for coming by and sticking around, and maybe, sooner or later, we might have another video like this one, because it's always fun to geek out over unique stuff. <laughs>